Bryant says, oh my gosh, hell, this clothesline Bryant. Roger clothesline on Kobe Bryant, that was probably the most sickest thing I've probably ever seen, man. Because it was just the cleanest clothesline you probably ever will see. It's something that belongs in the octagon. Entanglement. He was gonna tangle up. And when he choked the guy up, I, I didn't know what, I don't know how to react. I didn't know say, yeah, where'd it go? Or hold on a second, Roger, come here. <laughs> I was caught in between two emotions. You know, it's like, oh, oh no, you know, it's mixed. Uh, but that's right. And I love right. And so, hey, <laughs> so be it. Pulled down by Bell, and I think they're going to call a flagrant foul on him. It's been a pretty physical series, and, and you know, at that point in time, I had, I had caught another elbow um, in my jaw, and um, you know, I, I lost my head and overreacted to it. So, Rod's a little frustrated right now, maybe at some of the calls. Oh, he's ejected. I think they have to take into consideration that uh, he was hit with an elbow in the head before, and they said, you know, we got the first foul. Well. <laughs> the elbow, he should have got the second foul. And Coach Mike D'Antoni certainly not pleased with it. It was a rival competition happened between Kobe and Roger. They were going at it. And Kobe threw a couple of cheap shots. Roger's getting fed up. Phil Jackson's kind of taunting him on. And Roger said, you know what? Enough of this. That's what made him great. That's what made us great. We're gritty. And, and Roger was the backbone of that. People talk about Roger Bell. And, and the one thing you know about him was that he was competitive. And, and that was a play that was a momentum shifter for us because at that moment, I think they understood that we were in this for a fight and that we were going to go down swinging, grabbing, clawing. And, and, and that's, that's the way you have to come back. And so Roger set the tone and the rest of the guys uh, followed it. Aaron McKee is out there, 12th year player out of Temple. Roger Bell has been flagged with the foul, and I believe a flagrant on Kobe. Grabbed him by the neck and threw him down. He had been in the locker room before the game, and, and he drinks two Red Bulls, and Boris is over there drinking his tea. And I'm going, hey guys, look at this. Roger, you need to take the tea. Boris, you need the Red Bull. <laughs> so maybe y'all can switch drinks for a game and see how it works. But... And Roger has been kicked out of this game. Flagrant two on Roger Bell for lassoing Kobe Bryant. One funny thing that cracked me up is that I think that uh, Kobe came out and said, you know, Roger might, might not have been hugged as a kid. Yeah, we go out there and we play the game and leave it at that. Maybe he wasn't hugged enough as a kid. That was in the paper, right? So after we beat in the seventh game, Mr. and Mrs. Bell, who I love, the great parents, they're in the hallway and Kobe's going to the press conference room or the, you know, to speak. And, uh, and Ms. Bell looks at him and goes, you need a hug? <laughs> and so, I, I, that, I mean, that's just like, oh, okay, no, this, this is great, this is fun. Thomas majors a three, Kevin! We're tied at 105. I remember when we, when we beat the Lakers in game six when Roger was suspended and, and him sitting on, on top of the stairs at the plane, like jumping up and down when the bus came. <laughs> yeah, that's good! No! No! He went and watched it, I think, at a Mexican restaurant in Beverly Hills by the hotel. Ahead, to Diaz, to Marion, he flashes it through. I made a bad mistake, and um, you know, fortunately, my teammates kind of bailed me out. I know Roger personally. I've known him uh, for a great time in my, my life, and I know that he wears his emotions on his sleeve, and, and that everything that he does, he does for his team. So to be able to um, withstand that without him, knowing that he was the inspiration, behind us taking it to another level and, and really digging in and, and, and hunkering down and fighting to the last the last second. You know, that was his call. You know, that was his moment that inspired us. So that, that was that was big for us to repay that debt. So that's trying to move him out of the playoffs. Roger Bell inside goes Diaz. Now the Suns do have their eyes on the prize as it comes into Marion. And a standing ovation for Roger Bell. Suns win. It was a great feeling, you know. Anytime you win a series, it's special in the NBA because it's so competitive. And, and to beat the Lakers you know, when we were down 3-1 is, is definitely, a, a, definitely a highlight for me. That play, that chain of event will, will always be uh, a memory that will last a long time.